Hi, this is Lisa from Little Owl's Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today, rather than doing a project, we're going to look at a technique. I recently did a watercolour class using the new watercolour pencils. And a couple of my customers asked me um, if there was any way that they could watercolour using just the stamp, our normal stamp pads. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. That's the technique I used on this card. So although we won't actually be making the card, I wanted to show you the finished result. So I have two pieces of watercolour paper here. Um, I have pre-stamped the image of the lady. This is the set that I used. Beautiful You. And um, the second of the two stamp sets and this one here. So I have pre-stamped her to save us some time. Um, we're going to do the background first so we can give it a wee minute to dry. And for the background I used Soft Sky. So to paint using your ink pads, the first thing you need to do is put your thumbs in the middle of the ink pad at the front and your fingers at the back and give it a really good squeeze in the middle. You need to apply a fair bit of pressure. Obviously the more pressure you put on it, um, the more ink you are going to get to come out of the ink pad. Now when you open it up, you will see that where I have applied pressure, the ink has come out of the stamp pad and has gone on to the lid, which is perfect because it works like a little paint tray. So we're going to use this to make our watercolour background. Um, now, you could use uh, an aqua brush for this. Um, Stampin' Up's aqua brushes come in a set of two and this is the larger nib of the set of two. So you could use this, um, but personally, because we want the watercolour, it's a background effect, therefore you need to cover a large area. Personally, I prefer to use a paintbrush for this. So I just have a, a normal broad paintbrush and of course a jar of water. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to get some water onto the ink. Now this is a very light colour. It looks quite dark here obviously but it is a very light colour. Um, so it's up to you how much water you want to put on it because obviously the more um, water you put on it the more it's diluted the lighter the colour. Having said that, because it's a watercolour background, you do want to have quite a bit of water on it. So, now that I have my water on here, it's simply a case of brushing across. Now you can do as little or as much as you want. Um, you can do it darker in some areas if you want. Or you can just try and have it all light all the way over. Now because this is a very light covering, it really will take no time at all to dry. I'm kind of coming back over using, uh, I've started with using the flat, coming back over using the tip a little, because the tip will just give thinner lines. Okay, now you can see that the um, paper has arched very slightly. Don't worry about that because first of all, um, it's wet, it needs to dry. Secondly, by the time you stick it onto a piece of card at the back, onto your actual project, it'll flatten down with the sticking. So don't worry at all if it arches like that. So we'll just set that aside and leave it to dry. Now, as I say, I have pre-stamped my lady here. Um, I used early espresso because I was going for the, the more subtle colours on this card. Um, so, I'm going to use, oh sorry, I knocked the camera there, hope oh, that's okay now. Um, I'm going to use Peekaboo Peach, again going with subtle colours. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing again and I'm going to give it a really good press. Now this is a smaller area, so we won't need quite so much ink. And 
again there we have our nice spot of ink and um, I would say make sure that it is watercolour paper that you use because if you use ordinary cardstock oh dear I've managed to get orange on there if you use ordinary cardstock um, I have noticed I've tried it to see what it's like and the card does pill a little you know you get those little bubbles on it so I would recommend that you use um, watercolour card um, Stampin' Up! does also stock a shimmery paper. Let's see if I have a little piece of hand here at all. Um, mm, is that it? No, it's not. That's ordinary. Sorry, I, I thought I might have a piece of the shimmery to hand, but I can't see it. Um, Stampin' Up! stocks a shimmery white, and you can watercolour on that, but only if you're using a very small amount of water. So because this is a smaller area, I'm going to use the smaller nib of the two aqua painters. And I'm just going to squeeze it slightly so as I get a little drop of ink on there. Okay, And then I'm going to give it a really good mix. Now again, how deep you want your colour um, will affect how much water you put in. If you don't want it very deep, just put in a tiny bit of water. If you want it quite light, then obviously you can put more water in and dilute the colour. So, I want to make sure I've got plenty of the ink on my brush. And I'm not going to squeeze it anymore. I don't want any more water to come out because this is plenty. And I'm just going to start a little bit at the sides. Just putting a little bit of colour in. All the way down. I'm going to start where I want my deeper colour to be and I'm just going to go in like that just a little bit and then I'm going to come back over and I'm going to pull it in a little and the same on this bit I'm just going to use now the colour that's already there can come down a little more to cover if you want a little bit more I'm going to use the colour that's already there and I'm just going to pull it across And you will notice that um, when you do watercolouring, it never, ever turns out the same twice. Never. <laughs> I have noticed that. Um, but what you can do is you can come back. If you think you haven't got enough of a contrast of shade, you could come back in here a little bit. Now, you can keep coming back over as much as you want, but be careful because the more you come in, um, the more water you put on, the more risk you have of possibly pulling the ink out of the, your stamped ink from it. Um, if you use uh, Archival Black um, or Memento, you won't have that problem. Um, but because I chose to use... Um, early espresso um, it's a different type of ink you have got that possibility that you could actually get a little bit of leakage now I'm going to leave that to dry and see how it turns out but I've basically done the same thing there as I did here and you'll notice that when it dries you can see your different shading. It's quite difficult to see actually when it's wet, but you will notice more when it dries a slightly different shading. So if you hop on over to my blog, um, you'll get a little bit more information about what I use to make this card. And now that you know how to do the watercolouring for it, you'll be able to use do watercolouring without actually having to use the watercolour pencils if you don't have them. I would say though, if um, you want to buy them, you should go ahead and buy them because I use them a lot. I also use this method because I do like you get a slightly different contrast, but I just love the watercolour pencils. Um, so it's nice to have the option to be able to use both. Um, just one quick tip um, before I go. You don't have to clean this up. You can leave it exactly how it is if you want. Um, 
pencils that you can use it again next time or you can just wipe it off and it comes out clean. So don't worry about ruining your stamp pad but also don't worry if you want to leave the colour there because it'll be there ready for you next time. So I do hope that you've enjoyed that very short video today and I hope it encourages you to go ahead and try something a little bit different. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope that you hop on over to my blog for more information. Bye bye for now.